smiling because 2012 for me and my company is is just been outrageous. Uh, we're actually three weeks into January and have exceeded our entire business goals for 2012. I couldn't do this without the diversified team that I have. Um, from my uh, stone installer, or, or should I say my stone supplier, who's Turkish, to my electrician, who's Cuban, as I am. Uh, my partner is Italian. Um, I have a Romanian tile installer and a Mexican painter um, and a, an American uh, craftsman, or I call my carpenter. So as you can see, we're, we're very well diverse. And, uh, and I think it's, it makes my company what it is today. It, it makes us you know, affordable and custom. We, these are the finest workmen you'll ever see. Uh, my name is Andrew Delgado. I'm a builder in Marco Island, Florida. Well, I was born in, uh, in here in the United States in New Jersey. Uh, I've been in Southwest Florida now for almost 10 years. I built my first home for myself in 1989 and I dabbled in construction ever since. With, um, as a real estate investor, I would buy and fix up homes and sell them. And um, eventually landing here in Marco, um, I had a need for it. As a realtor, many clients were buying vacant lots and needed someone to develop them and you know, to achieve their dream. And um, I entered the market with one idea, to make it affordable for people to actually do that in a place like Marco Island. I, I think my number one lesson is um, generosity. Um, I have found as a builder, the more generous I am with my clients, the more understanding I am, the more compassion I have for them, and the more passion I have for what I do, it comes back tenfold. Um, I believe that rolls right into my employees. I'm very understanding with them. Um, it, it's almost at a personal level with all of my subcontractors. Uh, my wife um, is without a doubt the heart, soul, and the backbone of my company. Um, she alone does my IT work, my marketing, my advertising my payroll, my accounts payable, receivable, and she puts up with me. Well, my mom is my hero. She's, uh, she came here as an immigrant in the 50s. Um, she fled Cuba for, you know, for, for communistic reasons, and, and it, it, it doesn't work. And um, as we're seeing today in society, more and more people have done that with the, uh, you know, the collapse of the Berlin Wall. Well, my mother was one of the pioneers. She came over, um, she showed me a work ethic that to this day, I haven't seen duplicated. What's happening to me is the American dream. Um, as a police officer and a public servant, I had to work many holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, many times where other people were with their families and I, I, I had to be at work and I was away from my family. And my dream was one day with hard work and diligence that I could, I could have that. I could be off on holidays, weekends and nights and I can achieve my dream, not only to be with my family but to financially secure their future. And this is an, an amazing country. I wish that the, the more people would, would appreciate it more and, and take into consideration every day we wake up, we're blessed to be in a place like the United States.